Welcome to my channel. My name is Jeffrey W. Spencer, and basically this channel is about my journey of becoming a better artist. And I apologize, I didn't write any of this down. This is all extemporaneous speech. So if it seems kind of odd, that's why. But, you know, they tell you in YouTube school, if you watch all those how to do YouTube, they say you write it down, do a production schedule and all that. Well, you know, try to go the opposite way. <laughs> Anyhow, Today I'm going to share a time-lapse video of my trying to draw an elk. And I say trying to draw an elk because I'm trying to be better. <laughs> but I want to tell you first how I did it, and then secondly why I did it. So the how I did it a few days ago, I went on the internet and I did a Google image search and I picked out an elk image that I liked and I chose this one. I printed it out as just a black and white, you know, it's not a picture of an elk, it's just a, yeah, I think it's a, a picture of an elk that was rendered as a drawing because it looks a lot more detailed than, I mean, maybe he really did this, he's a really good artist, it is signed, so maybe it is. Um, I need to give credit to this artist here, so I'll put that in the comments, but um, after I chose that picture, I got out my handy dandy um, I guess you call this a proportional divider. And this is for scaling images either larger or smaller or one to one, I guess if you will. If you want to set it one to one, you can do a one to one scale. But I went ahead and did proportions on the major element. So I, I, I'm trying to limit myself to six points, or I should say um, six pairs of dots, so 12 dots total. So, you know, this, 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 how high this is, just, and just doing dots. I'm not drawing it, I'm, but I am doing proportions. And I transfer those dots to a piece of paper in which I draw. This is my first iteration sketch. This is on sketch paper um, of this drawing. So here's the reference. I took my proportional divider and did most of the negative spaces and got to this stage. And I drew this just as a practice. And then finally, I limited myself on the last time I went to a Bristol paper. Instead of sketch paper, I used Bristol. Um, I used an HB uh, pencil, a 0.7 uh, mechanical pencil, and an eraser. And I rubbed out with my fingers and I think I've got some some rubbing sticks back there and I think I need to use them instead of my fingers because it gets kind of dirty. But um, I went ahead and drew this. So this is my final drawing rendition of this. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. And I guess more on that is I'm trying to get over the, I heard somebody say the other day, an engineer's idea of good enough is perfection. An artist's idea of perfection is it doesn't exist. <laughs> so I'm trying to, to get in that, fight that realm because I have to realize that perfection doesn't exist. And there, there comes a point in time you say, you know, that's good enough. Um, and coming from an engineering background where things are, you know, zero or one, it's either zero volts or five volts, it's on or off. <laughs> It's a black and white issue in the engineering world, especially in electronics. That's the way it works, it's binary. And binary words, you know, zero, one, two, <laughs> three, you count them out. Uh, not possible with art. And trying to get over that um, perfectionism, that expectation of perfectionism, and share it with you, because this is a journey. And I think I, I, I said this in my last video that this is about my journey of becoming a better artist and I need to share that journey. And I want to do this not only for self-reflection but for inspiration for others who may be on their own journey. And I want to be able to say that um, I'm pushing past my fear. Uh, I'll put it this way, perfectionism leads to procrastination. Procrastination leads to fear and fear leads to paralysis. So I'm trying to break that cycle. Uh, paralysis is not doing anything because of fear. Procrastination builds that fear because it's a fear of not being good enough, <laughs> right? Which is based on your perfectionism. And if you can break that perfectionism, break it at the, at the starting point, 
it doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be good enough. And that's where I'm starting. And, and if you're a, an accomplished artist, I'd like to hear your comments on this. But um, that's why or how I, I did this drawing. Now, the why an elk? <laughs> Actually, um, let me share with you a video of an elk in the wild morning bugle call of a bull elk. That video is from Photo Guide YouTube channel, who is a wildlife photographer, videographer in the state of Wyoming. Uh, not only does uh, the channel share some great elk videos, but some bear and some birds and other wild animals, uh, antelope, uh, buffalo, some really good stuff there. I, I tell you, there, there's nothing like being on the side of the road, uh, Yellowstone National Park, uh, there's a lake with a picnic area and sitting at that picnic area in the morning and having breakfast with steam rising off the lake and looking at mountains in the background. When I did that as a young adult, um, I will always cherish that memory and it's something that I always strive you know, to have that feeling again. And that's what I look for when I go camping or when I go on my photo shoots uh, out in the wilderness um, is to have that connectedness with wilderness. Anyhow, uh, with that said, um, that's just a, a love that I've always had. Here is my attempt at uh, drawing an elk. I'm going to show you uh, how I got from point A to point B. It's not perfect, but hopefully it's good enough. See ya. to love.